Hey, Josh! Who said that? This is your conscience speaking, bruh. What? I'm in your head. You're in my head? Yes. What do you want? Why aren't you part of the altar-serving ministry? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what happens if you're not an altar server? No! If you're not part of the altar serving ministry, you become bored and do nothing. And when you become bored and do nothing, you develop the habit of becoming lazy. I know I have to do them, but I don't feel like doing them. Oh well. And when you develop the habit of becoming lazy, you get long lectures from your parents. And when you get long lectures from your parents, you get grounded. And when you get grounded, your electronics are taken away from you. Thanks for the lesson, Conscience. I'm actually gonna go join altar serving now. I decided to become an altar server because I wanted to feel closer to God. Because I usually didn't know how they, um, how they set up the altar, but now I do, and it's fun to do it. The altar servers are there to help the priest during Mass. I enjoy serving at church. Um, it's fun. You get to meet new people from other schools. Um, teaches you teamwork and dedication and responsibility. My favorite part is serving with other people and meeting new people. I've been serving for three years and the reason that I've been altar serving is that I want to get closer to God. I don't just want to be someone in the pews, but I want to take my relationship one step closer with God and I, re and I figured that altar serving was that next step. It's very beautiful because you're connecting with God, but you're also connecting with the people. You're seeing what they're, what they're seeing. It's always going to stay with you. It's just, it's astonishing. My family and friends are proud of us because of being an altar server because we can become closer to God. I'm still learning a lot more about my faith. Um, I really like the fact that I'm an altar server because when I come to Mass, I really have to evaluate myself sometimes because, uh, you know, you're up there next to Jesus and, you know, you kind of want to come more prepared for Mass as an altar server than just coming to Mass. I wanted to become an altar server because when I was young, I used to watch the older kids altar serve and I knew I wanted to do that too. And just being up there, it gives you this feeling like you're part of God, you're more with God. and um, It's just a really good, it's a really good experience. <laughs> the first time I was altar serving, I was scheduled to serve at the Tuesday Holy Family Mass. <laughs> and it was my first time shadowing any server and they made me take the candles. And <laughs> I was so nervous that I went inside the sacristy to get the candle and I couldn't, I couldn't walk out. <laughs> so <laughs> the older altar server just took the candle from me and they were like, I'll do it for you. And at that moment I was just like, this is great. <laughs> Should have been altar server because if you really love um, God and you want to be closer to Him, you could serve. What's better than serving the Lord at the altar, at the most holy sacrifice, the highest form of worship? What's better than that? <laughs>